I smile every day like I'm Roy Lee. Yeah. And fuck what a hater gotta say to me. What? I don't talk about it cause they know I'm with it. Real talk. Think before you thug, better mind your business. Say from the block, I ain't never seen them. Hey. Your smile time, boy, you just a misdemeanor. Cash up. Took them on my home, gave her back shot. Real talk. Real ones don't skill me, we don't merely rock. Hey. What's up, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Can I Vent Podcast. This is episode 101, 2, 3, or 4. I'm not sure which one we know. own, but we, we run it. I lost count. We lost I count. I did to me. I know. It's been, it's been a week. This is on our second episode today. So we in here on a Saturday. So y'all will see this on oh sometime next week. But I got everybody. <laughs> we, we we locked in today. It's a lot of us in here. Um, We packed in here, but it's for a good reason. So I'm going to introduce of course, to my left, M Dub, my broski, my, my, partner my podcast, partner in crime. my partner. <laughs> I like this. How Family. you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. You good? doing all right? I'm all right. Cool. You I'm chilling? Good. I'm starving. <laughs> we gonna, we're gonna I had M Ms. <laughs> and um, oh my God. it's not it's not, it's not important. It's, okay. it's not important. It's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, our first encounter was him eating my food. We so yeah, we gonna make sure we get you some more. Yeah. So I've been hurting him since last night, and it's just I was eating them slow. Like okay. Yeah, we gonna make sure. You eat that pack of M&M from last night, my mom. You need to go. You need to go downtown and find you a good man. Good man ain't gonna let you eat no M&M. I swear to God. That's that's the single life. Single life. We thugging it. We eating M&Ms, man. I don't want no single life. I gotta eat M&M. I'm going where they cooking food at. I don't care how they look. Long as they clean in there. Oh lord. Somebody. Fuck the single life. He don't need no introduction. Clearly. Man, Lord, fuck your city. Show me love. I swear to God. <laughs> he represents BR, so you already know. Um, he here, here. He is the manager of some people we're about to introduce in just a second, but he is, I'm sure, going to be the comedy of, of the day. Ain't no comedy. This shit real life. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about comedy. You don't do no comedy. I wanted to be a comedian. I've been on stage a long time ago. He's a natural. He's a natural uh, funny guy. I swear to God. <laughs> to my, I'm be saying that to my far right. I have somebody needs no introduction. We have Big Terry guy. from yeah, Dallas sure. Global. So we're doing kind of like a Dallas Global Can I Vent collaboration that. today. So, yeah, yeah. so shout out to Terry. Nah, for sure. Appreciate y'all for having cousin. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's Kim folk. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite podcast, man. It, Dallas Global. Yeah, I yeah he, he's solid. Man, you should be global with this shit, man. Not just Dallas with this shit, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Y'all got to chill, bro. We global. Yeah. You might need to reinvent the name then. Nah, we in Dallas with this shit. We in Dallas with this shit, man. Dallas is still global, yeah. That's what yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Okay, yeah, okay. we don't stop here though. Yeah, it don't yeah, stop yeah. here. Well, we, we appreciate here. you pulling up and bringing guests with you. Like people say, that people in Dallas don't fuck with each other, but Terry is a prime example of people fucking with each other. For he sure. like, say, what y'all doing? So I appreciate that for sure. And Terry sure. pull up in your city too. <laughs> yeah, with, with his real. camera and everything. <laughs> and he'll be solo. He'll the project, the with his backpack on, with the trench, man. Car, gas yeah, station, That's how it's supposed to be. That's how it be. All right, to my far, far right. We got Duke. He the plug. He out of Arkansas, so you know he look country man. You Arkansas. know what I'm saying? But this is Duke the plug. Relax. Welcome. Relax. How you feeling? The quietest. How you feeling? So he's a concert relax. promoter. You do a lot of stuff though, but he really taps in with the concert. Yeah. Okay. Right. Shout out Big Duke, man. Big Duke, yeah, what, like Big Duke. Duke, what you, what you, what you, what you known for, Big Duke? What up? <laughs> well, nigga, tell you whatever. That mean, yo. Depend on what. Nigga, tell you whatever. It depends what day it is. What right. you, okay, I got you. Well, nice. Thank you for coming on the show. We appreciate you for pulling up. To my right here, we have Wiley out of H Town. He do the funnest, so he I'm gonna call him the money man for the, right. for the show. He gonna be the money man, okay? He uh got a little little finesse to him, and uh, he gonna give me some food when we finish. So how you feeling? Man, listen, I'm gonna get your food coming. Okay, yeah. I appreciate that. I'm get your food coming, but man. I, I deal with the money, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So anything mm. dealing with a bank, that's your boy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so he's all things funding. So relationships matter, and we ain't talking about just business, you know, personal relationships, business. So he gonna plug you to the right banks. And then last but not least, we got Hedrick the Goat, credit, business funding, personal funding, a mentorship, coaching, whatever you talking about. They just pulled up with a whole fucking fleet of cars. Don't know where they came from. Uh, <laughs> all over credit. credit. They, all credit. they all gonna pull up. Uh, a dealership <laughs> is outside, literally. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I, I meant to go look to look, but I didn't get a chance to. But um, welcome, thank you for pulling appreciate up. He out there in Baton Rouge too. Got that boot. Yeah, I'm from Baton Rouge. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. How you feeling today? Feeling yeah. good. Feeling, feeling blessed. What's new? What's new on your on your agendas? 
Oh, nothing, man. Just trying to get better every day at what I do. Okay. So I can get back to the people. Okay. So tell us exactly what you do. I'm a mentor. So what I do is I, I teach people how to pay their bills on time, how to do it the right way the first time so they ain't got to keep on messing up. Okay. Most people that's in my lane, they want people to keep on messing up their credit. Thank you. So they can always have somebody to keep on coming back to. Yeah. It happens sometimes. For the most part, I feel like if I mentor a person in the right direction, they don't have to do that too many times. Okay. So that's what I do, man. I just teach people how to, you know, have healthy pay habits and take care of their business, pay their bills on time so okay. they, they can keep on elevating. Because mm -hmm. okay. you keep on tearing down your credit, you got to keep on hitting that restart button. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do that. So did you always know that, like, were you, were you financially literate always or did something happen in your life that piqued this interest? Nah, I, I would say I've been interested in credit since I was about 17 years old. Okay. Um, Actually, when I was about 18 and 19, me and my wife, I got our credit up to about a 680. I thought that was the world. Mm -hmm. Couldn't mm -hmm. tell us nothing. Got like, uh, that's when uh, Apple used to be with, uh, damn, Apple card used to be with somebody. Barclays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got a Barclays card. You was yeah, it. Yeah, you yeah, a yeah. popping boy. You, you was big. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> MX yeah. was the next thing, and that was it. They gave, you know, <laughs> they gave me about $4,000. <laughs> I feel like I, you know, I feel like I had something, but. <laughs> By me being younger uh -huh. and having credit cards and stuff like that, all I did was just mess it up. Uh -huh. So I probably had the yeah. lowest credit score I've ever seen in my life. I mm -hmm. had three child support cases on me. I had mm -hmm. 16 charged off credit cards, four repos, a lot of collections, doctor bills, cell phone bills, mm -hmm. you name it, I had it. Mm -hmm. I had a 341 seven years ago. Mm -hmm. Damn. Mm -hmm. Damn, I thought the lowest was a 350. Lowest is 300. Yeah, 300. 300. 300. They go from yeah. 300 to 850. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I had the lowest. Yeah, you get that score. three, and it's just like, let me just stop and start yeah. over. Let me just. Because you can't do nothing with real. three. No, nothing. No. Nothing. No. Nothing. Can't no. You can't get a cell phone with the three? No. You can't get no, a scratch nothing. off. You, you can't, can't get a prepaid cell phone you with can't, a three. You can't go finance a pencil. <laughs> you can't go finance a pencil. That's crazy. So, how you flip it from a 341 to, you know what I'm saying, a credit empire? So I ended up moving to Houston. My wife got a job off at a, at a post office in Houston. I got a probation in 2015. Mm. And I just wanted something different for me and my family. Okay. I had been locked into the credit, but my environment and where I was from wouldn't allow me to see it's nothing other than what I was stuck to and what mm. I was used for to. Sure. So now, now, for somebody who ain't never been to Baton Rouge, like, what, what's that environment in, in your, through your eyes? Like, what, what do you have to say about Baton Rouge? Hmm. Mm. It made me. I can tell you that much. I wouldn't be the person I am today without it, without being from there. For sure. You know, so I That's thank true. the Lord every day I did come from there. But it's crazy, man, because, you know, people just hurt people, hurt people. And, mm. and, and with our, how, how we deal, we don't like to see each other win. You know what I'm saying? We like to bring each other down, man. And, and Houston is not like that. It's a little different. In, in Houston, people, people welcome you there. Mm. Yeah. But... They'll, they'll shake your hand and smile on your face and hate you. Back home where I'm from. They gonna hate you all out. They don't hate you. <laughs> they don't like, they don't care what kind of money is Yeah, they don't, they don't yeah. give a fuck. I hate, I don't care if you got a million dollars for me. I don't like you, I don't want it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, I can but, respect that one yeah, better. So, so you can respect it more, but the opportunity don't come as often. Yeah, yeah, you see, when you, that's true. When I got to Houston, when I started learning the characteristics of how they move, I can adjust to it better. When Baton Rouge, mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't adjust to somebody just not liking me but if I know you faking it, and I know it, I can play my cards a little mm -hmm. better. But back, yeah, but Absolutely. back home, I can't play my cards right because you, it, I'm, I lost out the gate. You know? Yeah. Before we go any further, though, we got to make sure we vent you in. Mm -hmm. This is when we grab our shots. So, you know, because we was supposed to get deep into it. Yeah, we were supposed to start. Yeah, we were supposed to start. Right. 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 Come on, let's go. Let's get it on. Right. Right. Okay. So, everybody repeat after me. I promise to keep it real. I promise to keep, keep it real. real. I'm gonna tell y'all exactly how I feel. Tell you exactly, exactly how, how I feel. I'm gonna tell it like it is 100%. I'm gonna tell, tell it like it is 100%. 100%. So, excuse me, can I vent? So, excuse, excuse me, me, can, can I, I vent? There you go. Yeah, sure. Y'all are officially a part of the family. I'm gonna do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gotta swear on Oh, that. we know. Right, right, right. Oh, no, we <laughs> know. Just a bug before we start. Oh, you. Y'all need that. Y'all pass y'all cups up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so look, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like I know this y'all podcast, and I know y'all do it. No, you go host it. You part of it. I ain't gonna lie. I want to. I want to jump right to the bullshit. I want to jump right to the bullshit, bro. Cause like I knew I was finna interview you two weeks ago, and then like out of that two weeks, some shit happened. You know what I'm saying? Now 
a popular uh, social media influencer. Mm -hmm. you, you was working on his credit. He went to Instagram. I looked. I tried to go look for the post today. It was gone. Mm -hmm. It's no longer on Insta social media. But he said you scammed him for ten bands mm -hmm. when you was working on a credit. He got your ten band package. Yeah. Now bring us through that. Like, what was that? Cause like I seen you break it down. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Like saying like no, bro. Like this was the plan. You know. So I told mm -hmm. you to do this, do that. I asked you for this. You ain't give me this. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So like, how how did you we get to here? And what? for that, for y'all who don't know, is the you know the can I touch it, dude? Man, just say his name. I don't really know his name like say that. Name. Chris, Chris Cousins. Cousin. Chris, Chris Cousins. Cousin. Okay. And yeah. that's my partner. I brought him into the situation. He brought him to me. Bug brought him to you. He yeah. been trying to lock in. Partner. He has been trying to lock in with me for like two, two and a half years. I give you, I do you promo. I kept on turning around until I ain't want to do no business with him until you brought me some money. Yeah. Um. So he brought me. He brought. Well, he, he, he brought. Not to cut he, him up, but he just started a big trend. After he finished, I'm gonna let you know the yeah, trend he, he just started. He brought me five thousand. Um, I fixed his credit. I got it from I think a four three to like a seven fifty. Okay. All three bureaus, not just one. Got him um, I got him approved for three cameras, but you got he, the sixty thousand dollars. To his, to his yeah. to his credit, he young and he don't have no understanding. Mm -hmm. So for people that look at me, the first thing they they think is I got everything I got overnight. Right. Right. So he want a, I want a Corvette, I want a Corvette. I'm like, well look, let's go get these three cameras. I'm gonna help you rent them out because my son run my car rental business. Okay. I can make you some residual income and we can let that pay for the Corvette note when you go get it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, he didn't give me 10, he gave me five. And when he wanted to upgrade his package, his partner gave me the five because he didn't have the five. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Charles. Shout out to Charles. Shout out to Wiley that said we call like him. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. that's real, Charles that's real for a nigga to give you five bands. Like Niggas can't get nothing from it. It's real. Charles and Charles got a quarter million in front of this week. Yeah, so shout out to Charles. His his friend that paid me to do his credit actually paid me to do his too. He got a quarter million on the table right now, but um. Charles gave me the 5000 but when he gave it to me in Wells Fargo parking lot for him, he looked me in my eyes and said, hey, don't give Chris a Corvette. He can't afford it. Right. So his friend didn't cut no corners with me. Right. Mm. Say so between car note insurance, he can't do it. He just trying to impress social media. Mm. Mm. Um, so I was stuck between a rock and a hard place because like this, I have a lot of dealerships that's in my favor in my city. I sold $14 million in cars at Mercedes Benz last year. And I'm not, I'm not even a salesman then, right. but just off my people. Your clients too, right. But like I told y'all about being a mentor, it. it go back to being a mentor. I don't want to give people stuff they can't afford because it all falls on me with the finance managers, with the general managers that I know that do me favors right. because they know my people don't mm -hmm. pay their notes on time. Mm -hmm. right. So if his friend telling me, don't get him a Corvette because he can't afford it, if I go put my name on the line and tell somebody to get him a Corvette and he first pay me default, a lot of people don't understand first payment default is when you get a car yeah, and you don't make the first, the first payment. That is a criminal offense. You can go to jail for that. Mm -hmm. you know That's the theft. It's like stealing car. Theft, yeah. Yeah. I know I know the law of credit. You know what I'm saying? So that is theft. So you can go to jail for that. Yeah. So I'm not gonna get my people in trouble just because somebody wanna look good for social media. You know what I'm saying? So what he did was when his credit score dropped, when he was like, My credit score dropped back down because the repo went back on my credit, he wasn't patient. So he went to a call out on his own and ran his credit with the same banks that he had repos with yeah, so so credit. so we got everybody in this room what's the worst thing you think can happen if you go run your credit be your be your credit specialist they're gonna, they're gonna look at it credit they, specialist they, they, they they gonna, gonna, let us know what happens now you work for a bank mm -hmm. so you work for a bank mm -hmm. If you see a client got a 750 credit score now you know they, they do soft pulls on people credit all day to see what they, they got going they don't even tell them so if they pull your credit and they see hey he got a 750 but he's trying to get a car through us but he he's had a repo four months ago but the car not on there, what's gonna happen? It's gonna open back the investigation and put it and back. And they're gonna put it back. It's gonna reopen the investigation. Saying, right. they put and they're gonna put it there. back. Put so it back when he went to social media, to like I say to his defense, he don't understand. But mm -hmm. I did tell him though. I said, hey, don't go run your credit and let me do everything. Right. right. But I guess the three cameras wouldn't it's up to his liking. Now, what, he wasn't his up to his liking. Good, so he went on his own. Yes, yeah. it wasn't up to his liking. So all he seen when he logged in was 750, 760. So he thinking, somebody, I can get approved for anything Somebody gassed him up and told right. him, go get your own shit, go fuck him. him. Yeah. Right, so he, he went, <laughs> Got in his that's, what, that's, what, that's what happened. That's what happened. Yeah, that's you know, what, what, what happened. And then I turned around, bro, and I still, after he gave me too much problem, I still got him approved for a car bit. I asked him to send me his social security card and his driver license to prove his identity to the car lot. Like he told me he lost his wallet. He ain't had that. Yeah, I seen that. And I'm <laughs> so like, damn, that, as a grown so man. That's why they, that's why they, yeah. Do you feel know. like do you that's feel like he ain't send it though? Cause he ain't trust you or what? I this mean, you already got his social. You already got his information. In order to repair his credit, he has to give him. He sent me a picture 
of a driver license, he had his phone. He sent his social security number, not the card. Not the card. Uh, yeah. I sent him a screenshot. I said, hey, the guy at the dealership, I'm sending him a screen that he sent me yeah. that's saying approve the condition is we need front and back of social and driver's license. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He told me on the, uh, August 23rd, I don't have it, but I'm going to order it and I'm going to send it to you. And then a week later, he go on Instagram tagging me. Hey, tell Tess to get with me. I can't get in touch with him. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on your information so I can get you the car that you say you want. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that situation was, mm-hmm. man. So nah. he just went there and his management team, they end up calling me. Okay. All right. It's a lady. Shout out to her. I ain't going to say her name, but she, uh, Dude. she re- yeah, B. <laughs> he gonna oh, keep it real. Hey. We shout out the good. We gonna shout out the bad. We gonna shout yeah. out. Yeah, he's yeah, he standing on business. I, I like it though. I live above my name. My yeah, my face in my face. No I can't bullshit. bring nobody yeah, yeah, yeah. frost. No, no, yeah, yeah. no clouds. Hey, hey, they hey, gonna discredit me. Buck is a real one. Hey, for anybody watching this, Buck is a real one. You know what I'm saying? So if Buck said, it's it's official. You know what I'm saying? So he so he end up um. His team ended up reaching out to me. That's how the post got taken down. But this is the killer. I told them, when the team reached out to him, I said, keep the post up because it's actually doing good for me. Right. <laughs> they thought, they thought, they said, well, if you give him his money back, I said, what the hell, I'm giving him his money back. I ain't doing nothing wrong. Right. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So I was telling them, they was like, well, they got a lot of people in this DM. I said, well, guess what? There's a lot of people in my DM talking about stuff that he that he do, mm-hmm. but I'm not the police. That boy Rob 49. Look, so I said. FaceTime him. Yeah, Rob 49 FaceTime me the, 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 man, what the, the fuck day he posted this. He's like, mean, take what? The, Rob 49 said, I'm coming to Houston next week. I want the home. Rob coming this week. Now. <laughs> I'm going to get sell mom too. Y'all yeah, so many people that hit I'm me in my DM. So there's a, a, so a lot of people like, hey, man, if, if I can give you 5,000 and start me around the car, let me go get approved for three cars. I took the bro. You know what? A lot of people, like, he just got approved for seven uh, rental cars. He going to pick them up Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? So it's like this. If you can get approved, right. a lot of people looking at it is, a lot of people put $5,000 down on one car, and the car only be worth $30,000, mm-hmm. $25,000. Mm-hmm. And the interest rate be 20%, 19%, mm-hmm. and they payment high. The car end up breaking down before they end up paying for it because it's a messed up car. Mm-hmm. They really buying lemons. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, so I just tried to teach this young man the right way to do things. He just didn't understand. He he wanted his money back. His management team called me. He's like, we going This is what I told him. I said, well, look, my lawyer will be contacting him. His Instagram will be shut down, and I'm gonna sue him for defamation of character. They immediately called me back five minutes later. So he took the post down. Don't don't do nothing. Mm-hmm. Cause his management team know what's up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like he take the whole. Man, I, like believe he, well, I, I believe it. I'm keeping real. Everybody, yeah, like I need to go on this bro. and put it in his pocket. <laughs> yeah. He got to spend <laughs> money in your shit too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He yeah, got yeah. fifteen hundred off you. Yeah. Because yeah. he got to pay for everything that's going on in there. He ain't, fuck. I mean, he to go. He ain't God. But I'm glad. <laughs> but let me tell you something. Every, everything happened for a reason. I'm glad the post happened because, you know, when things like that happen. That was the first time since I've been doing credit and telling me that somebody ever did that to me like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so when things like that happen, it showed the, two, uh, the true colors of how people really feel about you. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of people that I've seen comment under the post mm. is the same people that be in my DM dick riding. Mm. So so that that yeah, right that alone a meant a lot to me because I know how to handle those people. Facts. Mm. Facts. Because Facts. Facts. they was Facts. waiting for something bad to happen to say, oh, I, I told you I, I knew it. Successful it was because yeah. they were taking people's money. Yeah. That's, not, that's what they yeah. wanted. Well, you know well, what well I respect about the whole world. Everybody around me from do. Duke a big boy clown. Wild a big boy clown. He'll be. I'm the first one look, gave twenty thousand. My, 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 my security guard gave me twenty thousand when he lived <clears> me. So you think he gave me twenty? He gave me twenty. He gave me forty. He gave me twenty. So I almost two hundred thousand dollars sitting in this room from relationship from years ago. Right. Mm. And you think if I was a scammer, they'd be sitting here they with me right now? With you. Mm. I mean, right. you know. Wow. Real talk, real talk. Nah. Well, well, he done got, got me some money. I done fucked it off. You ever? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't holding that against it. I, I, I fucked it off. Unless I ain't right. holding it against it. I kept paying my bills, shit. I called him one day, shit. Boy, got me some. I told him Thursday, that boy had a, a 60 ball in my account Tuesday morning. He called yeah. me. Like, well, all right. But look, this is the killer. This is how my people think. When he called me and said he needed that, that, that $50,000 that he needed, I asked him as a mentor, first question I asked, for what? He mm. said, I'm going to buy this house with some land, mm. and it's a hell of a deal. Mm. I'll go out of my way to make sure you get the money for yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. You know That's what I'm saying? Yeah. But if he had called me and said, I need it for a buy a chain, no. Nah. Nah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> now, now, about the, go ahead, what you think? No, go ahead. About the whole ordeal, what I respected is about is like, as soon as, like, because his, his post went viral. Mm. Two yeah, million views, three million. Then he used that for promo. He said, hell, selling promo. But you on Instagram, you ain't deflected. Like, it's like, okay, let's break it down. This is what I told you. 
This is what happened. Yeah, for sure. This is what you paid for it. This is what you got. Mm. You know for what I'm sure. saying? So can you really be mad at that? Because, like, nah. hey, I told you this up front. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Yeah, but like you said, I think lack of... Um, Understanding. That's, I, I started, that, that's, I started, that, that's the reason why yeah. I keep on defending him. Yeah, mm-hmm. because, because you don't. Because sometimes... You didn't know. Sometimes this is like our children. Our children, I call him a child here, grown man. You feel me? No disrespect, but... But he's financially at, immature. He's nah, nah, I ain't gonna lie. You told you to go pull up on him. What you, what nah, I ain't gonna lie. So I'm, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep it. Hey, hey, you said what? Everybody seen the meme. You don't do that bad before the internet. Nah, you said say, homie, I'm gonna pull up. Nah, see the thing. See the thing is, bro. I'm professional. I'm professional. And 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 I'm, you know what I'm saying. But I still, I still got a background. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. I come from a rough place, so. When people rub you the wrong way, you know, sometimes, like, I pray to God about it and I just put it in bed, but, but he on the phone with me and, you know, he he made a little minor threat. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. And on the phone, though, so I just told him, I said, hey, bro, you know, I ain't, I don't do all this touching, bro, back and forth right. on the yeah. phone, no Instagram shit. Right. I just pull up on you. But a lot of people take pull up on you as, as I'm saying. Out, right. Like, nah, I'm trying to get some more more physical, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. trying to get some understanding because it's, it's easy to be tough over the phone and talk mm-hmm. to a person crazy and disrespect. Absolutely. But right. when a man looking you eye to eye, face to face, your, your demeanor You understand the change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm trying I to get, rationalize. Yeah, okay, so, so what was you saying? Hey, can you can you run that back to him? I want to see what you meant by that. Right, right, right. I feel you. I definitely feel you. I definitely feel you. All Craig got to do is let the man do his business. Keep grabbing the ass and pay his bill, and you gonna get the bag. <laughs> Let the man do his business. That's all you got to do. Look, Grab look, your ass look, and pay your bills. This, this, this something don't nobody know. I'm gonna put it out there. Well, he, my partner. He, he texted me yesterday. He said he sent me a screenshot of an apartment complex that denied him. And in the in the message, it said, "Hey, Tedrick, this is what I was talking about." Because even at a 400 credit score, I I used to get approved for apartments in my name with my bank statements, mm-hmm. right? Because he make all his money. So when he sent it to me, it's called an adverse action letter. Mm-hmm. That's when you get denied. You know that you work yeah. at the bank. At the top of the letter, it says that he had a fraud alert, fraud alert on his credit. Mm-hmm. But we know you could just call the credit bureaus and remove that. Mm-hmm. But the first comment said criminal background history. Mm-hmm. And he got all now I go look. He just got arrested in, in January mm-hmm. for some shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's the reason why they denied it. Mm. But he still, he, yeah. he still, he want to talk about the credit. Even part. now, he's still <laughs> trying to find a way to blame me <laughs> to put it back for shit you. that yeah. he can't get. Yeah. And and they not gonna give you nothing. Then you can't move them people shit if you got if you didn't. Yeah. You know, right. had a criminal offense and it's still open or yeah. whatever the case yeah. may be. Yeah. 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 It ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Unless you get it exposed. Yeah. Yeah. And that's but they ain't got nothing to do with you. Even in the message yesterday, I was trying to explain him. He was like, "Oh, that charge just got thrown out." And I was like, I was like, but you I say, bro, I done been arrested and never been convicted on failing myself. But your arrest record follow you. Mm-hmm. So they can always pull your arrest record. He didn't even know that. He just stopped responding. Damn. But he was just yeah. trying to find another way to probably go viral. To prove that you. Yeah. 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 And, and exactly. for the record, exactly. man, we wouldn't even be here talking about homie if homie wouldn't have did what he did going out there and doing what he did. So, you know, nigga ain't gonna just let you bash their name. They gonna come with that black and white. That man got all the messages in his phone. And yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. Just for the record, gotta reiterate that and put that out there. Yeah. So we That's ain't cool. on here just talking about homie. Right. Homie insinuated this whole situation. Right. So mm-hmm. we got to clear it up on our end. Respectfully. And that's my partner. Yeah. Yeah, so, what it is. so when he first came to you with what he was trying to do, mm-hmm. did you was he legit? Like, could you tell? Like, okay, he's serious about it. No. Nah, so when he first tried to come to me two years ago, I brought him to a, a lot. A lot of people that that he bring to me, uh, he will bring to me, uh, anybody bring to me, I always avail because all money ain't good money. Right. Mm-hmm. Especially when people don't have an understanding of what you're doing for them, mm-hmm. like. Who do my security, Charles? When he came to me, me and him went back and forth a couple of times before he closed on his house. He got some funding. Mm-hmm. Before he got to that point, we had a lot of tussling because he didn't understand credit card utilization. Oh, my mm-hmm. credit's going to drop 40 points. Well, you but match you match the card. But the card ain't number $300 limit. Yeah, but the balance is $300. Yeah. You know what I'm right saying? So right. he right here. <laughs> but it's, it's, just, it's, just the, it's just the fact, the back and forth. But with this guy, see, when people mind are made up on what they want, they have no compromise or no understanding. I just want and they don't have no I just, This is what like, I want. They don't, I don't care if yeah. I can afford it. They don't it. have no patience. Yeah. When I started doing credit. I ain't going to lie, bro. I, I wouldn't mind a 2025 20, Honda. 
No, it was three right. 20, 25 three, three. cameras, and they and afforded $50,000 a piece. Yeah, look, he didn't have to do that. But that doesn't, that's not post-worthy. Uh, but, under, but, under, but understand it's this, a, pers- a person that don't understand. Shit, I own three cameras, 2025. I'm posting them. Come get these bitches right now. Come get them. Hey, go on. But you think it's a businessman. And I'm sending them across the country, wherever you need it. It depends who you ask. What are you talking about? It depends who you ask. What flexibility? Fuck that bad. I already know what the value is. Show me what these seven next week. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> you know, but but but, but, send a, but send like I told you, to his way, credit, but, he don't understand because the first remark he made to me was, each camera costs forty thousand. Mm-hmm. That's one hundred and twenty thousand dollars in cars. So I can't get a hundred. You telling me it's better to do that than to get a ninety hundred thousand dollar car vet? The yes, car vet, right? right he telling me like I'm still getting a hundred twenty thousand dollars a day, but I'm saying you getting something you can, you that adds value, yeah. not something that right. just take out every month. Right. He's like, well, right. I, I'm gonna rent the car vet out too. Income. So it's like he trying to car. make every excuse. And what people yeah. don't understand is right now in the economy, economy slow. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know that because of what I do. Mm-hmm. Right. So right now, uh, color none trucks, yours, that shit ain't renting out right now because mm-hmm. people ain't got the money to pay for it. Yeah. He's all about so, black trucks. And so what people looking for is. If they do move around, they're looking for black truck drivers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But other than that, people need economy yeah. cars, Small cars that right they now. can pay monthly rental fees, weekly rental fees to go make them some money. Yeah. That's what's making all the money right yeah. now. Okay. Yeah. Right. So yeah, when I started doing credit three years ago, when when during COVID, mm-hmm. I was I was brokering mortgage still, but I was doing credit on the side mm-hmm. because I would talk to so many homeowners that I would decline, and I would notice that mm-hmm. our that our culture of minorities, mm-hmm. the uh, financial literacy wasn't there, yeah, it's not and there. I would spend hours on the phone and it will always find myself talking to black people i'm mm-hmm. um, trying to explain why doing a cash out refinance made sense why this doesn't do this and it was like i'm like do people like not really but i guess if you're not taught you don't know, you don't know. so when i started doing people with credit i i kind of pulled back from it because of the very thing you're talking about mm-hmm. it's like i don't have enough energy to keep explaining to you I don't even want the money anymore because at this point you're calling me too much. You've had bad credit for seven years and I've been having your money for seven weeks and you're like, bitch, you said I'm like, damn, you can't buy a house tomorrow? You know, like, hold on. Let me, let me get you a prepay right quick. And the problem is when you, and the problem is when you're doing credit, you 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 almost scared to post your own accomplishments that you've been working for seven years to get there because you feel like if you post your accomplishments, they're going to say, well, what about me? But they've been having bad credit, like she say, for seven, eight years. And they have no patience. 20 years. No patience. In seven weeks, uh, you post a person, like, every time I make a post and say, this person credit went up like one of Mine's did. So, look, Mine's so, did. Buck, Buck got a guy he brought <laughs> to me. I mean, bucking bitches. Name, <laughs> Don't worry about it. He brought a, a dude named Ali to me. He just bought three cameras before we left Houston. Ali's going to pull up in 30 minutes. He about to pull Ali up now, but. The GOAT. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, we got I all the GOATs. Music. Yeah, so Ali, Ali came to me um, probably about probably about four weeks ago. Okay. You know, with a 500 credit score. He got it. Three, three four weeks I took him from a 500 to 700. But. I post his scope, post he went and got three calls. He so so people be like, well, I've been with you for, for, for a month. Why mine ain't jump like his? Well, everybody criticizes. Well, you different. might yeah. have 10 repos, he might yeah. have 10 collections. Yeah. You right. might have charge, charge offs. Yeah. You might have child yeah. support. You might have bankruptcy. Yeah. Everything is different. Are y'all right. disputing open shit? <laughs> right, 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 right. He's like, I don't even know what to tell these people. <laughs> <laughs> you laid on your car payment today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a car that you drive and it's like, no. Right now, yeah. So what I tell people. You going to pay them or no? They got people that got you. They got people that got you a steak plate. I'm telling you. I told y'all y'all know who y'all talking about. man. No, I, I swear because I'm down to like I'm down to like I went from like a hundred clients a, a month to down to like six. I don't blame. You. Like, and I have to be like, okay, so who told you about me and who referred you? Cause why? And then okay, so what have you been doing? What you do for a living? Like I need to understand because if we're gonna deal with some, you got your taxes and you just wanna go spend and get your credit done. No. Cause you're not gonna keep the lifestyle. You're not gonna understand the lifestyle, and you're gonna you go shoot afford, for the stars. Yeah, you can't afford the credit. I don't want you to shoot for the stars. I deal with the same people. I deal with people that come in. I didn't got them two hundred fifty thousand, and a homeboy come in. All of a sudden, they expect the same amount of money yeah. in two weeks. Yeah. Everybody did. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. In two weeks. But they so situation different. Yeah. Situation yeah. way yeah. different. Yeah. Right. Right. And I tell them, I said, man, you gotta be patient, bro. I said, and then you let's not talk. And then you talk about credit, but then I'm like, you know, there's a, a reverse side of it is. You need income. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's like, you That's got a, you got a G wagon. I got income. I got income. Yeah, right, right. But right. you got credit. 
with nothing to, to suffice to show how you're gonna pay for the Range Rover you wanna go so buy. Gotta help so you now out, right? we gotta figure out how to make this even make sense. You know, and people just, it's like, and the, I talk to my clients it's irrational. Say, what do it's you irrational like, What thinking. do you like doing? It's irrational. They don't even know. They no. just want some money. Well, what you gonna do with the money? I, I don't know. If you, when you can't give me that answer, I already know this is gonna be no. some. It's gonna, be, Ooh, it's gonna be a problem. Shit, problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they gonna, 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 gonna text you every time you post a new post. Man, they gonna text you. Yeah. <laughs> when, Chris, when Chris came to me, Chris said, I want you to be my mentor. Mm -hmm. And I want you to be my mentor, turn it to I want a Corvette. And that's it. Yeah, that's crazy. Because he really is in-game. So, so look, let me ask you this. With a mentorship from you, like, what, what comes with that? Like, can I call you, like, hey, bro? You know what I'm saying? This going on in my life. This the problem. It ain't even about my credit right now. Now let me explain something to you. life I just I just had a I I just I call him Big Boy Client because that's what my package called Big Boy Package. I just had a client drive from New Orleans down to my house, sit in my living room. This dude worth millions of dollars and he need a mentor. Right. And he cried to me about his his problems, his life, how the money not helping because people hating on him and he don't know who with him and who for him. Yeah, that's that's a mentor. Right. That's what a mentor do. I'm not I'm not here just for the credit side and the financial side. And another I think one of my and I think that's what and that's another one of his partners. But I think a lot of motherfucking right. partners like that. Book is the nigga I'm trying to tell y'all that. That's the nigga right there's <laughs> landlord. Let me find out landlord book the landlord. Is the okay. nigga. <laughs> he is the nigga. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the most mm -hmm. draining part because you know like I got a wife and seven children. Mm. So it's a lot so of seven. But your wife is hold on and this and this what and this what a lot of people don't understand about what I got going on. I got a wife and seven kids. So sometimes a person to call my phone and I don't answer, I call them back two hours later, they mad. Mm. Like mm. they my woman or something. Yeah, nah, nah, that, nah, uh, my the entitlement. Sometimes I don't answer the phone for my wife because I be busy. The entitlement is, is, is insane. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, I'm a blogger. Yeah. I'm a blogger and, and I And I don't charge what you charge and they still right. be calling me. I be like, bitch, it's Sunday <laughs> and I'm at church. That's and why I told what I told. What, 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 what do we want to talk about? And the bank ain't even open today. I do I do have some clients. That's why I say all money ain't good money. So most of the clients that I choose now, I do what she do. Mm -hmm. I ask them questions. I ask mm -hmm. them what their direction is, what they trying to do, what they listen. I get, I pitch them an idea about the rental cars. I ain't gonna lie. My son, I moved him from Baton Rouge about five months ago. He hit me up. He said, Dad, I'm tired of living down here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna listen to you. I want to come. That's My good. son lived with me for five months. I started in the car rental business when I got him a shell court, business bank account, mm -hmm. built his credit. He went and got some hundreds on his credit. Went and got some hundreds on his business, some cameras on his business credit. He making about eight thousand a month residual income mm. off renting cars. Now mm. I set up the Instagram page for him so he can right, rent right. the car yeah. stuff. But he doing well. We just got just got a phone for, with him for I got here. He's sitting at my car lot like, and rented out four cars today. Mm. He hustling. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The yeah. right way. The right way. You know Zero. what I'm saying? But you, yeah, yeah. yeah my yeah. son is there. Yeah. My boy is strong yeah. on the yeah. name. Yeah. 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 Wally yeah. said we jumping names, dog. He's twenty two. Twenty two. So what do you do you do when you do like the I know you do the mentorship and I'm mm -hmm. you know I don't, I don't necessarily better put your pricing out there because I know I'm sure what you do it, it, people don't understand what, what, what when you want a lot you got to give a lot mm -hmm. there is nothing if everybody could get a million dollars in funding or a quarter million dollars in funding everybody would get it right, right? Mm -hmm. um, but for the people that don't have five ten fifteen twenty um, thousand dollars to spend on trying to get their life back in order. What do you do, or do you feel like it's even your place um, to try to help our culture? All right, so I got an answer for that. So I uh, I, I, cre I created a company, um, a credit repair company, yeah. and I thought I was helping our people. Mm -hmm. So I was saying, you know, I charge a lot of money, a lot of people can't afford me. So I came up with prices like 99, like less than law firm, mm -hmm. 99, but it when you, four years. all right, so when you open up a company, just for the people that, that understands how a company structure works, when you put people on regular hours, they gotta be W two employees. They can't be ten and mm. a lot of people don't understand that. So I was paying a lot of a lot of money in just payroll tax and stuff mm -hmm. like that with my company. But the company wasn't created for me to make a dime. I make my own money. It's crazy to to, to give my people jobs, like my, my friend my friends, my family. But it was crazy to help other people for to help the clients that couldn't afford me. But it ended up backfiring because like I said, They'll see me helping other people personally and they get offended by it. Mm. When the only thing they paying is ninety nine dollars a month. Mm. One ninety nine. I've been with the company four months. How they credit up hundred and fifty points. Mm. Well this mm. person working directly with me, they can pay me five, ten, twenty, mm -hmm. forty thousand mm. dollars. Now I'm a scam artist because they not where they at. Mm. So I shut my whole company down yeah. and it killed me to do it because it was my baby. 
But at the end of the day, I tried to come up with a structure that could at least assist people that couldn't afford me, mm-hmm. and it still ended up backfiring on me. Yeah. Because people talk, they're going to they gonna drag your name. I, 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 I believe that In that situation, I can't yeah. take care of because, yeah. you got to understand, if you got a 1,000 clients and one company is taking care of 1,000 people, you can't hire a thousand people to take care so of thousand person, people because you're yeah. gonna go bankrupt. Yeah. Right. So you have to create a system mm-hmm. to take care of a thousand people. So mm-hmm. you probably can hire twenty workers right. and, and put a system in place. Right. But as we know, a system not gonna fix your credit as good as I am, personally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and, yeah. and, I, and they just didn't understand this. So I yeah. I end up having to shut the company down, and now I just. I don't really have an answer for people that can't afford me. This is what I tell people that can't afford me. Just keep trying. What I tell them is, <laughs> what I tell them is, wake, wake up every, what I keep tell them trying. is, start with they, with they life. If you smoke cigarettes, keep figure trying. out a way to how to quit. If you got bad habits, you got addictive personality, you smoke weed, quit the stuff that ain't adding value to your life. Mm. And I guarantee you, one day you'll be able to afford to pay me. <laughs> and that's why, and two, even with that, and I, and I kind of started trying to help people it's with like, I'm like, you know, because you, the more you talk to people in credit, the more you realize that, and I, I hate to be this person so cliche, but in the in the business world, your credit is your character. I can look at your credit. There, there's you nothing you. else. <laughs> there is nothing else that I need to know. I don't care about your color. I don't care where you come from, your struggles, your stories, your style. It doesn't matter. I can look at a piece of paper and I can tell you everything about you. Of sure. your responsibility level, are you a man of your word? Mm-hmm. Are you? Maybe like oh, you don't want a nigga with bad credit if he doesn't pay the people that he said he would pay. How you gonna take care of you? And that are <laughs> that that's that's <laughs> punishing him for not paying. Mm-hmm. What would he do to a person that can't do shit? Mm-hmm. Like right. in real life, if I can't trust you to pay your child support to your child mm-hmm. that's reporting on time, <laughs> what do I think? That you're gonna do for me, truly. I, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, I'm gonna give you. Oh, no, 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 no. You gotta use a different kind of. Account. Use, no, 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 hold on, now. ain't no contract. Pay your motherfucking child support. Want me tell you? Want me tell you why? Because remember, I say when I started doing credit, I had three child support cases. It could be reasons. It could be arrears. It could be reasons. I had three child support cases, and the reason why I feel so behind in child support is because. You go to jail. You, you, get a, to, yeah. you, you, you go to jail. The, the child support still rolls. It don't stop. It yeah. accumulate. Don't stop, yeah. And then, like I was working at Plants, so I might work a turnaround for three months. The other three yeah. months I ain't working. I work yeah. four months and I'm off two months. Yeah. And so I mean, That's, that is true. That know, is that is true. But there I understand what you're saying. But the people that just not trying. There are some niggas. It's some, some, some bad beat niggas out here. People make time and they create things for what they actually want. Exactly. They do. What I've learned about people is they they will go to the end of the world for exactly what, what they, they want. want. And it don't matter what it is. Yeah. Yeah. It don't matter what it yeah. is. That carrot at the end of the road yeah. is exactly what they have. Yeah. It don't matter what it is. I don't yeah. care if it's a, a Corvette. I don't care yeah. if it's a new chain. <laughs> I don't care if it's a new business. Yeah. Some people care if it's about what they actually value. Yeah. Yep. So a lot of times when people come to us, I have to straighten them out too. Yeah. Because they values be out of ordinance. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't it ain't about how much money they got. Yeah. It's about their values be out of ordinance. Yeah. Because I can see your bank account. Yeah. Yeah. And so at the end of the day, when I see your bank account and you telling me exactly what you want, I'm gonna tell you and the job of a mentor is to tell you the truth. Yeah. And you can't handle that. You can't handle that. They ain't decided. They don't wanna hear that though. They don't wanna hear the truth. I'm paying you because I wanna be like you, but don't wanna listen to how you But in my mind I used to be like so have you tried like you know, like I could rather I'd rather help you build a resume. Exactly. And get a job. And like Most be able to get a career that you could afford a lifestyle, want. you know? They just don't know what they need. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's a word. They know what they want, they don't yeah. know what they need. Really. Exactly. That's a word. That's that's a right right to like, why? Yeah. I, I, they don't I want you to know. They don't want you to know. So, so let, let me tell you, let me just tell you what happened to me. So last year I gave my son a um like a paper to take to school to get some of like his classmates. And he sent me a picture of it. He had it on this. It was just like credit one on one simple stuff like Late payments of thirty five percent of your credit score. Credit mm-hmm. card utilization is thirty percent. How how much uh, credit history means, which is the third strongest mm-hmm. thing. Inquires is very low. It don't have an impact on your credit score, but your approval lot. Just small stuff people mm-hmm. gotta know about credit. And my son was just sitting up there at the desk. He was checking it off. He said, "Daddy, we looking at it in the in the, in the classroom." Well, a principal, I, a principal that worked down there, he ended up hitting me up. He don't work at my son's school. He worked at another school. He was like, hey, man, you know, I want to get you in the school system because I was teaching. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I've been, I've been waiting on mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. They still found a way to say I couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. 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 When he went and met with the school board, they yeah. said, 
they they made every excuse like they looked at my the Instagram. Curriculum. Oh, they wh- at wh- where he you, come from? Yeah. Where, and he got a background. He got to do a background check. He got to do this. He got to do that. Like, understand that my my partner, they asked him to go speak. He do credit too. They asked him to go speak to kids that that was in jail. <laughs> Right now, they, they are already in jail. Why do I have to pass a background check to go talk to convicted felons? <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Just in case you're trying to Just come in, in and corrupt them it's, even more. Right. <laughs> it's about what you're going to teach them that they don't no, want they don't them want to know, know. Yeah. so they yeah. won't come outside. So I got it's recidivism. Yeah. They want them back. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. It, it, people don't understand that oh, prison like, is, a, is a is a is that's a whole that's a whole other episode. It's a whole other episode. Listen, so let me tell you the crazy part. So the crazy part about prison is. That was my first job as a case manager in, in for TDC. And I didn't know. So do you know they build prisons? How do they do you know how they know how many prisons to build? I don't know. They go off of third grade test scores. Oh, I you are that. lying. No. A not listen, a kid Makes at sense. the age of eight and nine years old that gets below C's is inclined to end up in prison. Damn. Damn. I ain't gonna lie, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. I know a lot of dumb ass listen, niggas that, that go to jail. I, I know a lot of dumb niggas go to jail. No, it's dead <laughs> ass. That's how you ever wonder why how do the prisons like that? How do they know how many cells they're gonna need? How do you how do they know that they need ten prisons in this county and they go off of a child in their prediction of when he'll graduate? And the juveniles are the exact same way, based off of a nine because you know they say like your personality, everything that you're gonna be is already instilled with you by the age of nine. Your real character. Right. Everything else is just experience. You know right, what I'm saying? Of right. like what you go through, trauma, right. all this shit will just yeah. happen. But at nine years old, if you a bully, you a bully. Right. If you a little somber, you know, introvert, you're introvert. So something may happen and maybe change some things, but that's who you are. So they look at their test scores and their grades, and if their GPAs are lacking, they feel like based off of them, they're going to graduate in 2030. We're going to need this amount of prisons to facilitate for these type of kids. Damn. Because mm. kids that mess up and fuck up in class are normally going to be fuck ups as they go. Is yeah, what they now you got the one offs, right. but it's crazy. I and mean, when you think about it, they don't want you I to them instill, yeah. but they don't want you to instill <laughs> no type of education in them because mm. you think about lack of well. knowledge is where a lot of corruption and crime come from. Is I I don't I don't know what to do when I'm around somebody I'm still some like they don't want to give kids the real stuff that they need to succeed though yeah because I don't remember no fractions I don't use yet I ain't use the fractions in my life you ain't use x plus y I don't know extended fractions I don't know what fucking extended fractions you never you never go two of them motherfuckers I ain't got before me and him locked in. Shit, nigga, I was in a minivan with a little Frenchie. Awesome. Nigga, I was getting it in. I'm talking about I was in every section in this bitch. I'm talking about money in this bitch. I ain't gave a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, my I... Frenchie. <laughs> in a minivan. I'm talking about that bitch got the little buttons. I broke the door, slide back. When I pull up in your section, man. I know you got ops. When I come out, that bitch get what? I pull the seat all the way up, put the window down, let everybody see it, just me and this bitch don't shoot me <laughs> at all. <laughs> Shit, I'm, I was real life living like that till homie came through and talked me the credit mm. and started giving me a, a real bat. I'm like, well, all right, this here better than that. Nigga, I'm throwing rocks back at the penitentiary. Yeah. Trying right. to make a thousand and two a run and yeah. this and that. Man, yeah. shit. It's this a boy just put a 120 in my car in <laughs> three days. Right. Come yeah. on. <laughs> nigga calling my phone, boy. Fuck y'all. I'm going to make I quit. I ain't Fuck y'all. I'm going to find me something else to do. Fuck I left y'all. the streets. Oh. Right. Nigga was like, I've been bad in the neighborhood. Oh, that nigga fucking run. Boy, fuck y'all. Y'all ain't sent me nothing when I was in the camp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. hey, Buck, let me ask you this, bro, because the Frenchie game has been crazy lately. The dog game been crazy. Like, ever yeah. since the pandemic, is the, the, the dog game really with the niggas? You know now what I'm saying? Is it still money have, in it? It, it, it? They done it, fucked it up. They done oversaturated. It's like this, though. It's oversaturated, but you got to have a new shit on the block. You mm. know, it's just like. So what's, what's like the newest hottest dog right now? Is it still the rope? Big rope, Isabella, but now it went over the, uh, the flutes and the pink. I got oh, some flu on the way. My saying? partner about to buy uh, <laughs> the dude Diego from the UK. He coming down with the rare dog. It's a, it's a pink, all white flu. It's oh. the only one. Is that one a in poodle? 
It's nah, a flute. It's French. A French, but it's a flute. Oh, French. I thought you said a flute. It's a French mixed with a poodle, all right? Yeah. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. A Frenchie mixed with a poodle? Hey, at the, at the high, y'all high yeah, end, yeah, y'all got some, y'all got some good so shit over there. So that considered a mic? I'm giving a dude two hundred thousand coins. Two hundred thousand coins. Two hundred thousand coins. Hey, wait, 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 wait. The dog they call a mutt is 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 a German Shepherd mixed with a Chihuahua. That's a word. I don't think y'all heard, but you can't mix. I don't think y'all heard, but you can't mix a two hundred thousand dollar dog, three hundred thousand dollar call a mutt. Oh, it's a hot price mutt. He said two hundred thousand to call home. That's a high value, man. And he won three hundred, but he he flying in from the UK. Two hundred thousand to co-own a dog. Flying in tomorrow, I can give him two hundred thousand. But this dog gonna be around is already five to six months, and it's gonna be a year and a half for anybody else get it. So the stud fee gonna be they starting off at ten thousand. Yeah, so they gonna make he gonna make his two hundred back within. How do people afford dogs? Shit, you got people because <laughs> like this, it's like this. I'm in the wrong afford, business. You got Listen, people afford uh, 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 ten thousand dollars Louis Vuitton uh, luggage. Yeah. You got people come for a Rolls Royce. It's like wait, wait. You what Mariah say she want a Chanelica. Mariah want a Chanelica. What's a Chanelica? What's a Chanelica, Mariah? A bag. A Chanelica. She wanted Chanelica. Man, we niggas we we niggas afford that shit, though. I got, I got, but I think, I so do you So do you feel stomach. like, I, that's a good question, because so for me. You them type of people. They're going to come to you, you know what I'm saying? Just like Rolls Royce dealership. They'll they attract yeah. that right. type of people. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. You got to have the shit that nobody's got. You got to keep going. But, but, but you got to get there. When you when you got something that, that, that you can only can find with you, you don't have to go out there and really say nothing. Right. They, it's coming to you. Yeah. They yeah. gonna find yeah. you. It's rare. So you, all, you, don't, you gotta realize that dog is not existing every in every state. No, okay. it's not right. existing. Okay. It's, 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 it's the only rare. one. You saying, bro? Yeah, that's the dude, only one. He make yeah. them. The dude Diego. Yeah. He from, makes uh, here in the UK. He make them. So okay. So when you say make him. Man, you, I'm, oh, I don't have kind of no dog. DNA. I don't own a dog. So I can't just buy a Frenchie and a Poodle and create one? No, nah, but a different kind of DNA. Your dog oh. ain't going to look like that. My shit going to be fucked up. Like, this bitch <laughs> keep rubbing his circle. <laughs> That's going to be the Fuck y'all tell me like to do this, this shit for. That's just like him with the credit game. He doing shit that nobody else right. doing. He can yeah, be, he yeah. be a bad. You yeah. got people fixing your credit, but they not really giving you no money. They That's telling me. They you how to utilize and do it. He getting you That's me. I ain't giving you shit but an update every 30 money. days. You get credit cards, <laughs> and if you fuck it up, he going to get that bitch back right. You going to go back and do it again because I fucked it up and he got it yeah. again. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Fuck? So now, uh, <laughs> Mm -mm. Now you, you talked about purpose, nah, nah. <laughs> right, right. no no nah, I, I ain't fucking up for people what, money from what's mm -hmm. some success stories from you though like you know what I'm saying like we talked about one 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 failure what's like some success that you want to share that they like with your clients they all sit there yeah, yeah, I like they all <laughs> sit there everybody my, here my, my success stories is the success stories I talked about my son mm -hmm. being able to my do that for your son is, is, is getting him out the streets yeah this was my client became my friend. Damn. He just became a client. I done got Rod Wave credit right. I done got him a house. I'm doing uh, Rod 49. Let's Jeremy. Peso, peso. peso, peso. I done got him uh, uh, his own home for his family. Like, And this to kill it, everybody said, well, he only worked with, uh, you know, the first thing like I said. He only for big a, a lot of my success stories is outside of it, but of course yeah. that's what they going to say. You know, like I got well, I got a lot of people outside in, the, in, in, in my cars right now. A lot of them got rental car businesses and Jalen, mm -hmm. Jalen, Mun. I done did. Uh, Everybody around me, I did their credit and, and really? ele elevated their life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. my success, boy, they they just speak for themselves. So other than being able monetary to be able to to get the monetary return, what is mm -hmm. something that's like one of your goals or? You know, when you sit like at the end of it, when you can look back and say, okay, I built this legacy or I built this like empire, what is you want that to be? Like, what do you want that to be besides I just fix credit and get, make sure everybody got money? I don't know. I just, I, I find my gratification in just everybody around me just winning and elevating. I just want to be able to help the people around me succeed and, and, and win in life. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Well, anytime that's you need court. like a new, um, what do you call it? When you're trying out something new, mm -hmm. you need like a guinea pig. It better be me. Look, me, look, <laughs> me too. Look. Just, just in case if you need somebody to just figure just shit out, out with. Like, yeah, 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 I was just wondering, right, I got new funding. Let me see if he work. Yeah, I could right. be that person. Lie, you know what I'm saying? My partner, my partner, you know, OBNJ, he was dealing with him. I came home from the feds. Yeah, that's how, yeah, so that's I was how running on the road because my partner Stroke had did had signed him and stuff. Stroke was like, man, I want you to get in the music thing because everybody acknowledging shit. I want you to run with him. You know what I'm saying? We going. So, you know. Stroke had put me in with him, whatever, make me a little money with him and shit. So, little bro pulled up one day. Bro pulled up in the Benz. 
Bro pulled up in a Hellcat, a motorcycle, a TRX truck. That nigga was getting all kind of bank deposits. So I'm like, man, what the fuck you got going on? I'm like, this bitch bagging and pitching, and I ain't doing none of that. <laughs> man, I'm going down there to Houston. And I was so cold, I was in Houston. He said, I'm going to pull up on the nigga now. I said, man, who that is? Teddy, Teddy from Dixie. So shit, I got, I watched Teddy, I watched Teddy, I watched Teddy, watched him for a few months, just pulling up to the office, hollering that little chick to get from the house, just pulling mm -hmm. up. I watched it. Shit, one day that boy said, you know what? I'm gonna start doing big boy packages, man. I'm just sitting that bitch on my phone. I'm gonna do twenty thousand. Came that bitch the next day, he had twenty thousand, man. Whatever it is, just do what you. When got. he came, gave me a twenty. He was the first person to ever give me twenty thousand. I he, gave him twenty thousand. Then he didn't even he didn't even understand what he was paying for. Well, no, I just say, man, look, give me a house. Trust you that much that you was gonna Cause he had right got J one deposit of sixty thousand. So I'm looking at it like the 20 gonna turn into so 60, 60, 60 and I'm gonna yeah. get a yeah, house yeah. and probably get a car zero down. I just told him, I told him, man, get the house for me, get that 60, that man, get the car. Basically. I'm busting yeah, yeah. about the offer. That's all he wanted. Shit, the nigga called me one day, said, man, I got you approved for a vet. It's red, go get it. I'm like, huh? What? <laughs> I really, I wasn't looking for the fall to that when I got the vet. The boy, like, man, you wanna get your house? Boy, sent me a paper. That bitch had six hundred forty-five thousand approved. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hold on, we got hold on. Man, he said, no, 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 no. I ain't gonna just get into all this shit. And I ain't got no, the weed to. Do it. I'm yeah. looking at it like I'm gonna get but, in the house. I'm gonna put my family in the house. But what if I fall off? I'm the pro sole provider. So provider. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I respect. Then they gonna have the move. That's why I respect him so much because it go back to the same. I turn shit down. Man. At the end of the day, I can, <laughs> at, well, the end, at the end of the day, down. I can get you approved for this, that, and other. Hey, but what kind of income you got to pay for? I know what to do with the money. What kind of income you got to pay for? Exactly. So and when I when I gave him a six hundred thousand dollar pre approved for the house, he said. I'll wait on that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. and that's smart. The good thing I did no, wait because I got a better yeah. opportunity about to come. I built me a house. Yeah. You heard me? So it, yeah. it, 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 yeah. it worked out for me. It worked yeah. out. That's yeah. a blessing. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm patient. Shit, I'm out here. I ain't got nothing to worry about. Yeah. I'm used to going to child hall, working out, going to school, and, and, and just laying back in the dorm, starting fights every day. Now I'm on the streets. You heard me? So shit, I'm going to let everything come Y'all got buck fucked up. You better run this hard. For sure, for sure. So now, bro, like, for people who might want to reach out to you, you know what I'm saying? People that might want to get down with you, like how can they do so and like what like what what is your ideal client? Uh right now, I mean for a minute, all I really do is accept referrals. Okay. And I like going off referral based clients because um it allows me to work with people that I already know somebody I already done work with. Mm -hmm. So they can vouch and say, Hey, I, like he brought me Chris. So immediately he looked at him and said, I know you're wrong. <laughs> like he was, like, Buck, you told me he was able to immediately right, say, he ain't a scammer. You know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. I like working like like Duke came to me. He was a referral from Buck. Like, you know what I'm saying? Wallace sent me a lot of people referral, but I really like, this is what I tell people, they want to get with me, just follow me on Instagram, and hopefully one day they probably slide in one of their DMs. Do you do payment plans? Well, I was say nah, I don't do no payment plans. Mm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come with that whole. That I just whole was, I was asking. What's the point of a payment I, plan? You I, pay I, half, I, and then I, I, he start when you finish paying. <laughs> but he, he, he hey, but I ain't gonna lie though. I'm gonna keep no, it real. No, that's like layaway. Hey, he right. invests exactly. money in that so shit just, too, though. So, so a payment plan is really just you just learning how to save your money for something you value. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's that true. should teach you the value. Because look, of credit yeah, and, and this is what I. Yeah. If, any, if anybody sure. ever worked with uh, like for instance, I I get a lot of old school cars done. Even new school cars, like when you when you paying a shop to fix on your cars, you know you paying like a deposit, right? Mm -hmm. But if anybody ever got anything done with a car that took a, you know, that take a month or two to mm -hmm. get done, it always end up taking five, six, seven, eight months to get your car to shop, mm -hmm. right? And the reason why is because, and this is what I never wanted, somebody bring you twenty five hundred dollars to get started on a car, well they don't have all the funds to mm -hmm. fully go in on the car, right? Mm -hmm. So they only can do what they could do now. So then they got to come back and ask you. So what they do is they tend to go spend the $2,500 somewhere else, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So then when they come to you, it's almost like they they, they always playing from behind mm -hmm. with your mm -hmm. car. And that's why it takes so long because they riding people to pay Paul. Mm -hmm. I ain't never want to get to that point. Mm -hmm. Come see me when you got it together. Because I don't want you to give me $5,000 on a, on a, on a, on a $20,000 package. And then I know I can't go get you the shell corpse. I can't I can't put the tray lines on. It's a lot of stuff I can't afford to do because you ain't paid me for yet. Mm -hmm. So your credit right. might be clean. So see, Not yeah. that money I already been spent. Now you come bring me some more. I, I don't like I don't like working like that. Yeah. So yeah. what's he invest in too? Mm -hmm. So what's your you gonna get your business uh cooperation and all that. You gonna have your okay. age cooperation. So we gonna you gonna be together. So what's your steps? Like from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like 
So if somebody come to you mm-hmm. outside and they got the bread, so what's your step, like step one? I don't, I don't never just two. take the bread first. What I do is we do something called a success call. Okay. Well, um, they, they send my, my manager, they, uh, they log in mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to their credit. I actually get on a Zoom call, go over their credit with them, mm-hmm. ask them about certain accounts, you know, what happened to this account, what happened to this account. And some people explain to me, you know, I fell on a hard time three years ago. That's how this happened. And you can see a payment pattern. Like some people, I can look at their credit and see, oh, this account was from 10 years ago, and then this one from eight, then seven, and six. They just mm-hmm. got bad payment. Like, mm-hmm. I got to change the way they think mm-hmm. on gotcha. this phone call before like we even move start. forward. Right. Yeah. Then you got some people, you go look, everything been great until this certain time. Yeah, you can see like, it look like every, happened, everything right. was laid around in certain time. Mm-hmm. So it, them the kind of clients I like because they already know mm-hmm. what they need to do. They just fell on hard time. Right. Gotcha. You know what I'm okay. saying? So yeah, I just, I do a success call, go over the credit, look at the situation, analyze mm-hmm. it, and just feel, you know, see how mm-hmm. I can help you. Gotcha. If I can help you at all. You know? so, okay. so before we go, we're going to wrap it up in just a second. I just want to go through with each person. It's called Can I Vent? So, I just want you to go through and just say one thing. If you could vent about anything, you know, it could be music, sports, women, money, whatever problem. What's the one vent you have right now that's on your chest that you just got to get off? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> I'm going to start, start this way. And uh, we can start with Duke. What's up, Duke? <laughs> we can start with Duke. Shit, man. Nigga need to be who they say they is at mm. all times. Mm. Hey, Not just sometimes when it's convenient. Yep. You know what I'm saying? When you real, everything gonna line up. Mm. Yeah, real shit. Mm. Stand on that. What you Stand see is what you get, yeah. Wallet? Man, uh, I think my biggest thing is pride to business owners. Like, be about your business. If you believe in your business, just invest in it. We just don't if you believe in yourself right. and what you're doing, invest in it. Yeah. And have your priorities in order. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So when you come to the table, we don't have to adjust your priority for you to believe in what you need to believe in. But when you started the business in the first place and created the LLC, and got your own EIN. Mm-hmm. But then just because a pandemic or a little waiver happened, now you're faithful back there. Mm. <laughs> Not faith. Hmm. You can't be faithful. Hey, uh, stop depending on niggas to save you. I can't save you. Mm. Can't is that, save you. Is that like, <laughs> okay. That's for anybody. That's anything. Rappers. Okay. I, can't I, can't you. You. I can't save you. I can't save you. What's yours? If I had to vent, I'd just uh, vent about how much I miss my mama. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Big missing piece in my life right now. Yeah, but I'm sure she's yeah. extremely she proud. Yeah, know, but, you know, but in the Bible it talks about how you activate your angels, and and I, and I, I feel the presence of her all the time. And I know if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be where I'm at today, because she's my angel up there. You know, that's dope. And so, just being a, and, and, and if I had to vent that, and just wanting to be a better father mm. and a husband. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes when you're chasing something, it's hard to see what really matters. You know? mm. So. So listen, sure. if you don't do shit else, figure that piece out. Yeah. yeah for real. Because yeah, no, sure. everything else is tangible. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. Everything else you can yes. get back 10 times, but you can't never get that time back. No. Facts. Facts. Nah, I, 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 go ahead. Know what? Vent. I'm Vin. a host. <laughs> you got something to vent about. Okay, put that steering wheel in. You know they ain't gonna let you slide. You know they ain't gonna let us slide. They won't let us slide. It can't be about no steak, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And about being single. We don't want to hear about you being single no more. You don't heard that. You don't heard that. That's a bad connection, man. So when a person holler about they single, they single, they single, they trying to go catch them something. No, I only said it one time. There's something in the room you like? No, I said it. I said it one time. It was about my M&Ms. That was it. No. She's single and she hungry. If I had been, I would say, um, I mean, just honestly, with the, you got a lot to vent about. <laughs> no, I should be like, like, let it out. Let it out. Let it out. We have so many conversations. So I already know. I mean, um. <laughs> but she do this every week, though, so. Man. Yeah. She been there every, every week. And every week I got, hey, yeah, yeah, shit nah, is nah, moving fast. Sure. Um, <laughs> no, I, I'm, honestly, I would say um, keep the main thing the main thing. I, I think that's like, I think we get, it, social media mm. plays a huge piece in um, distractions. And um, you lose focus, you lose sight. I do too. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I got to tell myself, like, this ain't the main thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, every comment, every response, every, you know what I'm saying? It's like a delusion. It's like all an illusion. (laughs) And you can get so caught up in it. So I I would tell people, like, take some time and separate yourself from the phone. Like, like on purpose. (laughs) Like, today is like, you know, whatever time, maybe even an hour a day, I'm having to be more intentional about separating myself from a false reality 
And I'm like, I'm starting to realize, I'm starting to use it as like a coping mechanism to like, I don't have to deal with my real world, so I'm gonna get on here. I don't wanna deal with that, so I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna get on here. And before you know it, you haven't dealt with what you real, deal with, right, right, because right. you're like, I, but I'm, I'm happy right here. You know what I'm saying? People, That's I get easy. to put what I yeah. wanna put on here, you know? And so, um, for me, it's not even like a vintage, it's more or less just like, for other people, just be more aware and cognizant of like your, your emotional and mental health. Of That's knowing right. that that shit is, is that shit is like deadly. I ain't gonna say deadly, but social media is becoming yeah, like yeah. you know yeah, what I'm saying. Sure. You can get caught up in in some shit, and you be like, "What the fuck is going on?" You know what I'm saying. So just like keep the main thing, the main thing, man. Oh yeah, I wanna hear this. <laughs> Come on, landlord. Man, I ain't gonna lie though. My vent is, man. You just gotta stay away from negative people and and, and, and negative environments, cause. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I come and I be sitting down laying in the bed and stuff like that and I be off to myself and I be thinking about the person I used to be and how I used to just jump off into anything mm -hmm. head first. I really was, it is what it is, but I used to be a real crash dummy. Mm -hmm. I, I was a real crash dummy, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, man, I came a long way from that shit, but you know, this man here helped me with it, but yeah, man, I just, I came a long way from that. And I mean, That's if good. anybody got dreams and all that, man, you just got to put your all into it. And the best way, and the best way thing to make you a hustler, because even when I was in the streets, I used to go and put every dollar I had. I'm talking about, I just had gas money to get home. Mm. So, I mean, what else can make you a better hustler? You just went all in. All, in. all in. You just bought this box of magazines to go back to your neighborhood with mm. these box of magazines. Mm. You know nobody reading through there. But I bet you one thing, if you put all your money into this, you're you going to sell them goddamn exams. So, I mean, yeah. you just go all so in. So, be all in. Yeah, that's go a, all in. That's the best that's, way to that's stay, away from, stay away from negativity, go all in. Go all in. Yeah. Yeah. That's the name of the episode, man. Go all in. Oh, if you're going to do it, do it. That's how it go. Uh, with me, the biggest thing is everybody can't go with you. Mm. So, you got to learn how to... Everybody not yeah. for you. you and it be the mean? ones you be wanting to go so bad. Yeah. 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 You be wanting to go so bad. Like, and low key, <laughs> it, it go off of what he just said. The negativity, you leave it. And yeah. not everybody, as much as you want everybody to come, everybody not meant to go with you. I know. So I'm learning that a lot, especially now I'm inching closer to 40. So oh, yeah. it's like, Everybody can't come. 40? Yeah. I'm 37. I'll be 38 in two what's months. What the fuck that damn man? <laughs> I'll be 38 in two months. Damn what? <laughs> but it, it's just one of those. Hey, it's just like last it's, it's just like last night. I told y'all I left at a bit because it was too yo, many old, old people. <laughs> it's, it was it too old for me. Yeah, I'm still a young nigga, man. I don't look my age, so I'm good. Yeah. So that's the thing. I'm 30, but I'm getting old. I feel like I'm getting old. I feel like I'm getting old. You are. Right. <laughs> right. Long right. Time, Terry. I, I want you to feel old. That's, <laughs> and that's, I think that's my biggest thing. I see a lot of people around me that want to keep bringing people along that don't need don't, to go don't with fit. Them. Don't So go. it's like understanding like everybody ain't supposed to go with you. And yeah. that's okay. Yeah. Understand this. You know what Some saying? people in your life for a lifetime, mm -hmm. a reason, or a season. So you know, right. That's it. So more a blessing or a lesson. You, know, you just gotta yeah. you gotta see what that person is. For sure. You also got three people in your life. You got people that's gonna add to it. You got people that's gonna stick around and give you a little bit just so they can give it. And you got motherfuckers just gonna come around and just bring you all the way down. Yeah. And take all the way from exactly. Exactly. three. I watch. So you to, you I, I, I watch the people who can add to me. They stay around. I'm gonna I'm I'm make sure you yeah. straight. We gonna stay straight. No, you got sure. something that you're gonna give you a little bit so you just to get with the transaction. Right, right, right. And you got yeah. something just don't give a fuck. Man, what's up? Give it here. Give it here. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> that's the three right there. You learn them three right there. You gonna be good. No, for sure. Before we go, everybody, we're going to go really through. Uh, just tell us your Instagram or where they can find you so we make sure we can tag y'all, make sure, you know, they can stay abreast of what y'all got I'm going on in your own business. Um, so I'm going to make sure I'm going to follow everybody, too. But just sure. go through and tell everybody where they can find you at. Oh, man, y'all know what it is, man. Terry Blue, two E's on Instagram, Dallas Global TV, man. You know what's going on. Uh, they follow me, at Young Duke, Big Duke 200. Okay. All the artists tap in. Okay. Going city to city with this Big shit. plug. Big plug. Tap in. <laughs> Follow me, man, at Rich Out Credit Wallet. Um, man, I'm going to get you the bag, but you know what I'm saying? You got to be a client first, so you ain't <laughs> fucking with the dope. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't fucking with me. Follow man, the protocol. Fucking with, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Right. fucking with me. Where they're, can they follow you at? They can find me at... Uh, Tedrick the Goat, at Tedrick the Goat on Instagram. Tedrick the Goat, yeah, okay. Tedrick I'm Bior Truth, B-I-O-R-T-R-U-T-H. You got a lot. What? It's a lot to your name. Dior Truth. Dior Truth. The way you just Dior said it, it sounded like a lot. Yeah, it sounded like a lot how you said it. I'm at landlord underscore book at high end underscore landlord. That's what? a lot. Book. Never mind. That's Say a lot. Say it again. High end landlord book. High end landlord book. book. Okay. Only okay. Only one, only one book. I bring, There's only one. I bring, only one. You, I bring, I walk you in through the door with the goat, put y'all head to head, let y'all sit down. Okay. We're going to stand on morals and principles. We ain't going to do no fuck shit. There ain't going to be none of that. 
I'm gonna make sure everything go right with y'all, and I got the most exotic Frenches in the game. No okay. bullshit. I stand on my name, you heard me? Perfect. My face card get me paid. I ain't got no crafts <laughs> like these guys. <laughs> I'm living off my face and my name, man. Nah, for sure. My MWBTP. All right. Uh, Perfect. And y'all make sure y'all follow us on underscore Can I Vent. Make sure you go on YouTube, Can I Vent Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, stay tuned, stay tuned. Thank y'all so much Appreciate for stopping through Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go, I got to ask y'all this because I've just been worrying. This might be a messy question. Uh, you got, who you are you go. asking? You asking me? I'm asking, asking Can I Vent. You asking Can I Vent? Okay. Where the hell Boosie at? That's. Boosie's no longer on the show. She has, she has other endeavors she's trying to achieve. Damn. So, other goals she's trying to accomplish. Yeah. You're the first person to ask. Yeah. For real? Yeah. For real. Yeah. Free Boosie, man. <laughs> Free Boosie. Yeah. Free Boosie back, man. We wish y'all the best, for sure. Boosie was great on the show, bro. Yeah. She, yeah. Free Boosie. We wish y'all the best. She's it's locked just, up right now. She's got a lot of other goals she's trying to accomplish. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Put it yeah. like that. Yeah. She locked yeah. in on her goal. Free Boosie. <laughs> Already. Already. Thank y'all. She's Thank still you. family, though. Y'all have a good day. <laughs> <laughs>